Hi, this is James Connolly from Evifel. Uh, I'm just doing a quick video demonstration of uh, the work we've been doing with the National Association of Drainage Contractors to help them manage the extraction of water from washout hydrants. <clears throat> Currently, the process is, is not consistent, uh, even within area. Uh, there's no digital means of collecting the, uh, the extraction information, making sure that the right hydrants have been used and uh, effectively recording the state of the hydrant asset itself and being able to log that digitally. So a, a permanent digital record of that asset exists and then can therefore be used for next time and asset management in general. Um, so uh, I work for every file. We, uh, we can configure workflow uh, of any complexity from surveys to building complex structures. We work in rail and, and power generation, construction, water. Um, but we can, we've got a highly configurable platform, which means we can uh, configure workflow, a compl complex workflow, and difficult workflow, and we, and we use this to build a platform to manage uh, uh, the extraction of water from washout hydrants. So what we did is, is working with a contractor and one water firm, they provided us with a list of 43 known washout hydrants and their GPS locations, which then enables us to uh, load this up into our system. And then that gives you the visibility of these assets uh, out uh, in location. And you can obviously uh, understand the asset information that's been provided by uh, by the water company. Now, as you can see here, the, the, there isn't much information there, just an address and a lat long. Um, so what we've done is we've, we've, we work with any mobile device, iOS uh, and Android, uh, browser and app, and this is the application on uh, Samsung S2 tablet. And basically, for any company or contractor that's going to be going out to use water, uh, extract water from these assets, uh, is going to use this uh, to either find uh, an asset near them, so, you know, as I showed you on the desktop, uh, you can visualize the assets on the tablet as well. Uh, and there will be a feature being built into every file in, in the next July, August sprint uh, that will allow us you to literally find the asset on here on the device itself. And uh, then we're going to build a automatic link to Google Navigate. So you'll be able to navigate straight there without having to go through two applications. But as you can see here, <clears throat> you can view these hydrants. You can also search for your nearest hydrant. And bearing in mind, I'm in Leeds. Uh, obviously, that's quite a long way away from where the southern area is. Uh, so I'm going to log an extraction to this hydrant. I'm now at that hydrant. Uh, so I want to log a water extraction. So we're collecting information basically digitally with accompanying evidence. As you can see here, there's already five extractions of water already happened. So I'm going to extract some water. Uh, again, just continue on there. Everything we do in every file has a digital stamp and we collect it with digital evidence. So usually the form of photograph, which is encrypted in the, in the platform. Uh, and I'll just take a quick picture now of, uh, oh, sorry, just bear me. Take a picture of uh, something that's next to my desk. There we go. Okay, now I can take up to five photos. We can extend this up to as many photos. The storage is limitless. Um, so once that's then done, I can then continue. As you can see here, the idea is that we're going to take a picture of the hydrant and surrounding area so that the ne next person will know exactly where the hydrant is thanks to this photo. Uh, water company, again, we've got them all as a drop down. Everything you see here on this site and everything you see on the browser is 100% configurable, so we can change things very, very quickly using the control panel. Uh, stamp pipe reference number, again, I just want a very quick example of this for you. Uh, is it certified again? And then also the asset condition, which is obviously going to be of use to the water companies themselves. Uh, meter readings, a little asterisk means that they have to put the meter reading in, uh, or they will not be able to save this. And again, everything's lat long stamped, so I'm going to get my location. And that will lat long where I am currently, and then I can save that, and that's it done. That extraction is now logged against that hybrid. So if I now go back into the desktop version, uh, everything that we do is in real time. So again, the hydrant that we just visited was hydrant 181. Uh, if I go on to this, you'll see not only the, the map position, which we showed earlier, uh, but also the number of water extractions that have happened. And there we go, the last extraction that I just did with the photographic evidence, the information that's been collected uh, around, around the extraction, all contained within one place. 
so yes, this is what we've developed uh, for uh, this trial. We've also developed the ability to, if I just go back to my tablet, to collect information where there is no asset. So again, it's the same form, but what they will do is when taking a picture uh, of said uh, asset or hydrant that they're at, that if they visit a hydrant that's not on the map and we want to collect that information and then have a digital record of it, then obviously we can do that. So again, again, collect all that information. I'll just put some meter readings in because it's the only thing that's mandatory currently. And then obviously my lat long. Uh, and then continue. Now what this then does, again, you can be very specific about where you are using our integration with Google Maps. So you can hold yourself down the pin and again, be very specific about where that asset is so that the next person that could visits this visits that asset or hydrant can be, again, has, has all that prior information to hand that helps. Obviously, we sync up to the cloud, so things are real time. You can see here that they sync to the cloud uh, and then you can go into the no asset data uh, and then again, real time. <coughs> photo evidence and the asset evidence uh, information collected in real time. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is that we have the ability to report faults as well. Uh, so if I again go back to my uh, uh, tablet, I can report a faulty hydrant so that then we can again take pictures of the of the issue, type of issue, you can add in multi drop downs here so it will add on to the drop down the more you add on there. I'll put a leak. Again, we can configure this to whatever it needs to be. Taking pictures, get location. Again, you can be very specific about where the issue is. And then save. And then that, once that then syncs to the cloud, which again, click upload queue. Oh, excuse me. There we go, that's gone. And if I now go to report a faulty hydrant, I've now got the leak. Of exactly where I said it was going to be. So we have a we built a, a platform um, of managing assets. But we speaking to Gary, um, I thought we could uh, expand this uh, to other uses uh, where we're collecting digital asset information for water companies and making sure that people like Fire Service and others who use their their, their assets have a digital record of where it was and the history of what has happened to that asset as well, if necessary. Hope the video is reviews. Please give me a call, drop me a line. It'd be I'd love to explore some options if this sort of software could help. Thanks. Bye.